Welcome, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today I'm showing you how to bake a filet of sockeye salmon. This is about a pound and a half. I just picked it up from the supermarket. I've rinsed it under fresh, cool running tap water and I'm just patting dry with fresh paper towels. I've got a cookie sheet over here lined with tin foil. I'm going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil before we add it here to the tin foil lined cookie sheet. So remove your filet off those paper towels and lie it right here to the cookie sheet. Now to the top of this, I'm just spreading on some extra virgin olive oil. This is loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. It's loaded with vitamin D, so I don't like to rob it too much of its flavor. I'm gonna sprinkle a little Himalayan sea salt on it. It's a pretty pink salt. And I've got my oven preheating to 450 degrees. The rule of thumb about baking this fish is 10 minutes per one inch thickness of the fish. The sockeye salmon is really thin, about almost an inch. I'm gonna sprinkle a little fresh cracked pepper. After I take this fish out of the oven, I'm going to season it with fresh lemon. Like I said, I don't really want to rob it of its flavors because it's such a delicious fatty fish. I mean, let me tell you, if you want nice looking skin and hair and feeling healthy, heart healthy, this is a fish I could eat every day. Absolutely fantastic. This goes off to that 450 degree preheated oven for the next 10 minutes. 10 minutes are up. And here's that baked sockeye salmon. A way you can test this, because you don't want to bake it too much, because if you do, you're going to dry it out. But you're going to have these lovely, and so I'll bring it down a little closer so you can see. Absolutely perfect, nice and flaky. You can just flake this apart and eat it on top of a salad, or you can take a knife and you can cut it into smaller fillets and you can serve it that way. Remember, it still has the skin on, as you can see, but if you want to remove the skin off, you just pull the fish off and the skin will come right off. I keep the skin on as it bakes because that keeps it moist and fresh and keeps it from drying out. I'm just going to take a slice off. Oh yeah, and remember the fish, after it bakes, it just pulls loose from that skin underneath. As you can see, the skin's been left behind. And here's that salmon. I love serving it with just a tiny bit of fresh lemon juice. Here we go. Oh my goodness, look how flaky and absolutely delicious that is. Mmm, yum. Perfectly baked. That little bit of Himalaya sea salt. Mmm, can't taste the fresh cracked pepper that much. Taste a lot of that fresh lemon juice. Mmm, oh my goodness. Healthy eating doesn't get better than this. You will not be disappointed in this fast and easy method of baking this sockeye salmon. It can be served right from the oven or chilled, whichever you like best. Magnificent. I could eat this every day. This pairs well with a pico de gallo, big Caesar salad. It's just a win-win. I've added two of my links below in the description box of this video, and you'll be able to learn how to make a pico de gallo or that Caesar salad. Hey, y'all, leave me thumbs up. Follow me here on YouTube or Instagram. Thanks a million for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.